even know how to do a live Instagram. I'm gonna be trying to do it again later to, a later day because I see a lot of questions and I can't answer these questions right now. Y'all know y'all know better than that. You know I can't be answering and answering these questions. Look, what Nene got going on I ain't about to jeopardize what I got going on that what I finally got going on. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if this what is up you guys what is up it's your girl star j craziness i'm coming to you 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 and you with another word on the street segment so you know how i like to do let's start it off before we get into the business make sure you like comment subscribe and please share my video so others could hear what's going on and what i gotta say but real housewives of atlanta season 14 approaching and what what's today wednesday what's today Today Wednesday or Tuesday? Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, and then we got Saturday, then Sunday. Booyah, we here. So a lot of promotion going on. Make sure you go check that last video I posted about how the ladies got together and did their own PR promotion marketing because they didn't feel Bravo was up to par on what they wanted. So they had to go do the damn thing. Like I said in my last one, if you want something done right, you're going to have to just do it your damn stuff because they might not see the vision you see. But anyways, that's not why we here. So you know how I like to do. I like to scroll, scroll, scroll. And then I came across an article that extra, extra, we all about it, put out. Talking about how Marlo Hampton reacted to Miss Nene's lawsuit. And I said, hold up. She did what? Oh, I got to hear what she got to say because I don't think, from my knowledge, let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong, nobody has spoken on this lawsuit against Bravo at all. <laughs> not even Bravo or Nene herself. Actually, she went live not too long ago today promoting her lounge. Talking about y'all need to be there. She gonna have hookah. She gonna have karaoke night. Then she's talking about she gonna actually be there all the rest of the week. And I'm like, mm, I bet you are. And then she gonna have a nerd to say this right here. I don't even know how to do a live Instagram. I'm gonna be trying to do it again later to, a later day because I see a lot of questions and I can't answer these questions right now. Y'all know better than that you know i can't be answering these questions cut with the bs nene okay but anyways let's just go ahead and get to it so let's hear what miss marlo got to say she said a lot of other stuff but that ain't what i'm checking for i'm checking for what she talking about with nene for allegedly fostering racist behavior on the longtime hit show. When you saw these allegations that Nene put out there, did it make you feel a certain way still being a part of the franchise? You know what? We're going to leave that where it's at. <laughs> I'm going to send my sister some love and kisses, and we're going to keep talking about me and my peach and how it's my time to shine, baby. Okay, so she kept it brief. She kept it simple. She kept it like, look. What Nene got going on? I ain't about to jeopardize what I got going on. That what I finally got going on. Yeah, I can't win it, but hey, I'm here. All about me, Marlo Hampton. You better know it. So I'm just like, damn, she ain't gonna speak at all on the matter, which is her prerogative at the end of the day. But I'm just like, anybody else wanna? Because I know if they do any more interviews with um people, they gonna wanna know what they feel about this whole Nene versus Bravo fiasco that's going on and if they speak on it a little they gonna intertwine and say so what did you know did you go through happen to go through any of the allegations that nini is saying bravo did to y'all mm -hmm. you know they're gonna go far as long as that so i'm just like i'm here for what's what's tea was good what's good <laughs> let us know some because we still on the outside of the door we trying to knock in trying we getting like a little peek through the window, but we ain't getting fully in. You know, we got somebody that was in the house telling us what's going on, but we don't actually got people like currently right there coming outside trying to tell what's going on. So it is what it is. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next one on the street. Be crazy.